Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can build your own website for free with Weebly. So basically, Weebly is an e-commerce by Square that allows you to build either your online store or just regular website totally for free. All you have to do is just go to Weebly.com and then you're going to want to click on sign up to create your account. You cannot make any website with Weebly without creating an account first. So make sure you create your account and then we can continue and go to our next step. To create our account, what we're going to do is you're going to want to fill in this detail such as first name, last name, email, and then you can confirm your email once again and then you're going to want to create your password as well as choosing on where you're living. So go ahead and fill on that and then we're going to go to the next step. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to see this website dashboard right here. So on this dashboard, you'll be able to see the overview of your website and then you can edit your site as well as domain. You can also take a look at some items such as categories, coupon, gift cards, customer review, item sync, item preferences, etc. You can track your order if you create an e-commerce or an online store with Weebly. And you can also check your fulfillment, reports, marketing, communication, sales channel, apps, and settings. So now we're going to go straight into designing our website. You can also watch a tutorial from Weebly, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on design now. So first you're going to want to put a name on your site. I want to name mine the same with my shop. All right, and then I'm going to click on continue. Next, you can put on a shipping location for the site. I'm just going to skip it for now. And now we wait until it's finished loading. All right, so this is the website editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the site design so that I'll be able to select on the style of my website. So there are several designs that you can choose. And let's say that I want to use this one because I kind of like the color and then I can click apply site to design apply site style so that it's going to be set as my website theme and as you can see now the website theme has changed and i can also settings on the site elements if i want but i will have to upgrade my account from free account to the paid one and in case you would like to know i'm going to show you on the pricing plan that they have so currently i'm using this free plan I will be able to get website builder with SEO tools. I can sync with Square POS and KDS. I can pick up local delivery and shipping. I can sell on social. And here are the payments that are going to be available for my Weebly website. And there are a plus pricing plan. And here are the benefits. There is some difference obviously with the free one and they also have the premium one. You can pause the video to read on the benefit of each plan and i'm just going to get back into my website design all right once i got my theme what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a look at the pages that i got so currently i have a home page i got category page item page and story page so they already gave us four sections of pages you can always add more if you want to add page all you have to do is click on this plus signs right here and then you'll be able to choose whether you want to add a sections add a page add an item or add a category so let's say i want to add a page it's going to go ahead and click add page and they're going to give you some recommendations page such as this instagram page right here or you can also select from the more option they have a blank page contact us gallery gift card about home stories i review and stories i didn't see any contact us page so i'm going to go ahead and add that and now i got my contact us page added into my website all right now i'm going to go back to my home page to edit it and here i got my main banner i can choose whether i want to hide it or to show it 
and I can obviously edit my banner by clicking on it. I can also add a slideshow banner if I want but I will have to again upgrade it to their paid plans so I'm just going to skip this for now but I do have the options to change the layout as well as the color. So here are the selections of layout that I can choose for my website banner. Feel free to play around with it. Let's say that I want it to be this one for now. And then I can choose the alignment as well as the sections height. I can change the color style if I want and then I can also select on my background color. I'm just going to leave it as it is and then go ahead and click on done. Now let's take a look at the featured item sections. So these sections are supposed to show on the featured items that my shop probably have. So let's say that I want to add an item into my website. I can just click create an item and here I can start and adding my item. So I can choose on the item type whether it's physical events digital donation or others let's say it's going to be physical so i'm going to leave it as that and then you obviously will want to put a title let's say that i'm going to sell a ring so it's going to be flowering i can set the price sales price and then I can obviously add a descriptions and then I can also upload pictures for my product so I'm going to try and upload one and you can obviously upload more than one pictures for your product I'm just going to upload one for now and then you can also choose the visibility let's say that you still want to put this on your draft you haven't want this specific product to be shown on your shop for now you can just go ahead and choose it as hidden for now or maybe if your product is sold out you can click unavailable i'm just going to leave it as visible and then let's say you want to schedule some items on your website you can do that but you'll have to upgrade your plans and then you can also settings your fulfillment through here like how your shopper will be receiving these items the shipping the pickup the local delivery the self-serve order etc you can also add the shipping ad and then add the additional informations of stock as well as the items id and if your product have more than just one variation so let's say it have several colors or several sizes but in the same categories you can always add and manage variations by clicking on this manage variations button and then you can add your variations through here let's say this one is regular and maybe i have a small one and then i also have the bigger one then i'm going to go ahead and click on done and now i will be able to set the price the sales price sku etc all basically the same details that I will need to put on my regular variations of product. And here are the part where you can also settings for the search engine. So if anyone tries to search it on Google, you will be able to set on what name will you want people to see if they're searching for this kind of product on SEO. I'm just going to go ahead and save this for now. And once you create your item, you can also change the layout if you don't like this specific layout for your featured items. Maybe you want it to just show several instead of a lot of it, or maybe you want to only show one specific items and have a call to actions button. You can feel free to choose on whichever templates you want. Let's say I want this ones for now. And then you can also change the colors if you want. As well as editing the content, you can choose the image shape, the aspect ratio of it, etc. The item title, the item price, badges, button, etc. So everything is totally customizable. Feel free to change it to however you like. Let's say I want the label to, instead of shop now, I want it to be buy now, exclamation mark. 
then click on done there is our item page as you see the item that i've just put earlier is now showing on my featured item sections next we can also settings on our email newsletter set so through here you'll be able to set up a page for a newsletter which is going to be very helpful if you will want to increase engagement with your audience this page is going to be very helpful for you so basically the way that you can edit this site is pretty straightforward most of the things works similarly the same with the other page it's not hard at all to set up your website on weebly and once you finish with all of the design all of the items etc you can always click on publish and now we got our website publish so let's take a look at how it looks like and that's basically it that is how you can set up your own weebly website for free i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day